Welcome back, folks, to Farm Sim 2022. All right, so interesting thing here, guys. Uh, we filled this up last episode. Oh, of course, it's going to save. Um, but as you can see in the background on the water on the right-hand side, it did take up a lot of the water that we'd given it. So it doesn't hold much water. It does, however, hold a ton of seeds, and we do we are producing flower, uh, flowers. Now, keep in mind, we're probably only had a half a month, but this is what we got here, and I have the Jeep on the water trailer just so we can unload, and I'm gonna have to keep this thing topped off. And I wanna fill this right away. That way, the next month that we do this, I can kind of get a feel if it can go two months without it water or just one and it didn't use many seeds actually or fertilizer huh that's interesting yeah it didn't use any almost like one here hmm any rate with it being able to hold a lot of seeds and fertilizer the one thing I think we will maybe get into down the road, not right now, is seed production and fertilizer production so we don't have to buy that because that was pretty expensive. Now, we got to go over here because I have the semi loaded up and ready to go for all our wood. We are starting to get uh, about half of the wood we had from a few episodes ago at the sawmill. So... Uh, eventually here we're gonna have to look at that also boy it doesn't look like okay pull forward oh are we completely full so now we only need metal and staircase railings also if I can get over on a view here you can see we have made a little bit of progress I'm going to try to keep making sure I show you, because last episode we didn't really advance into a new month or anything, uh, but this episode we're in December. We got big plans today, because you see that place needs metal, uh, and uh, this place here is, oh wow, look at that driving guys. Don't tip, don't, no, oh, don't do it. Oh. Gosh, alright, I'll be our bees. Listen, doing YouTube is a real, real deadly business. I could have died there. Might have to hire a stunt driver. Um, are we gonna. Oh, this is. Eh, come on, get some muscle. Oh, man. Um. Hopefully, this isn't one of the things where it's gonna be a pain. Come on. Also. I can't even move this car, but I could flip that semi over. Completely realistic. You know, I'm kind of interested to see if we have any progress on the boat either. Um, wow, are we just... Oh, it's taking beams. Uh, let's undo that and do that. I don't think that's going to take prefabs. Alright, let's take a gander quick. Um, wood beams. It still needs wood beams. That's interesting. So, wood beams, it's make, taking a lot of. Also needs metal. And floor tiles, so we'll have to grab some. Oh, look at that! Oh, wow! Yeah! Heck yeah! So that means, I think we're going to need cloth for the sails. So, when we get into animals, I have to not be dumb, and I have to do sheep first. Because, <laughs> uh, let, let's face it, I'm probably going to forget that. And we should probably build or do sheep real soon, but I have something else in mind today. Uh, and it's a big one, hopefully it's a big one. And, ooh, alright, let's not tip over again. Alright, let's go over to the market here and sell the rest of our morning wood. Alright, let's uh, peel in here. Not get hooked on the building. My driving hasn't been uh, the most... Oh my gosh. 
<sighs> Wasn't me, I didn't do it. Alright, well, looks like we have... We have some money. Um, is that one... Flip over. Nope, we're not. So I'm going to have to come over and fix this. feel like the star of the episode today is going to be Kramer. Because uh, looks like we're going to be using him quite a bit the way my driving's going. Uh, uh, I'll get that last one in. So just to be sure we have enough, though, we are going to solve these sugar beets. We have absolutely no reason to hang on to them. And I think we're going to sell the sorghum, too, just because it's a little on the high side. Uh, and we're just going to run with that. But I think first, uh, instead of getting a new trailer, I think we may. Yeah, I think we're just going to add it to this guy here. Um... All right, let's connect and let's go fill this trailer up. So it turns out when I upgraded it, it can't actually hold. Oh, looks like we're going to have to switch tipper. There we go. It couldn't hold anything. Uh, it could only hold like chaff and hay and stuff. That's disappointing because that was going to be a major part of what we're going to do today. So we're going to have to go ahead and sell this. Hmm. Yeah, that's disappointing. I really like the semi, but it's almost not usable for us anymore. We're almost to the point where it's too big. So I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to head over here to the shop. And I think we're going to have to get rid of this semi. There's nothing else that we would use it for. And we do need an upgrade and we need more of a universal setup. Yeah, like, yeah, so when we switch it to that, it doesn't hold the same stuff anymore, sadly. Otherwise, I would have kept this guy around a long time. But let's go ahead and sell and sell. And I'm going to look at some trailer options, so I will be our bees. All right, I think we're going to go with this old semi-trailer here. It does say that it can hold everything. If we go back here, as you can see, come on, do your rotatey bit so you can come in. And it looks like it can hold almost everything in the game. So I am excited about that. Alright, so let's grab the semi. And it shouldn't be that hard to pull. It's a little trailer. We'll see. It actually has a decent uh, size deal, though. They can hold a fair amount. And it should be nice looking with the semi, actually. With the blue and the green. There we go. And then also... Well... It's a little small, but it'll work. It, it'll hold what we need. It's better than what we had before. So, uh, let's do a little speedy up bit of me selling uh, some of our extra grain that we don't need that's already a year old. We sold all our stuff. We have 262. The iron furnace, which we are going to do to produce some metal, is 180. So we're actually sitting pretty darn good. 
Uh, we did buy this new piece of land over here, but I think we may use that for animals. I'm not sure. How big is this? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that might cut into our animal deal. Uh, we may do... Hmm. Let's see. There's an unload on the left. Boy, that will take up a lot of area. What if we did... Hmm. That's kind of the front of the building, ain't it? You know what? Let's put it... I think we should put it right here. It would look nice. We'd have some room there. We may be able to fit something to the other side of it if we needed to. Alright, no whammies, no whammies. Oh. There we go. Okay, I think we're good. Let's quickly do a little bit of landscaping here. We did it. I'm an idiot. But we now have our factory. Let's go ahead and get out and take a gander at this. And it looks like we're just going to need iron ore for this bad boy. Which, there is a place to go up and get on the map. Uh, so if we're looking at the map. It is up here. So we're going to go up here. I'm going to show you where it is. We're going to take this old deal here and head up there we are at the top left part of the map at the iron peaks mining company now this is free you can take any of this ore that you want and they give you two vehicles to actually load it up now this thing doesn't hold much uh if i remember right and it only goes 16 miles an hour so we're not going to use this even though it's free it's still a ripoff so we're going to go ahead and leave this guy over here we are however going to try this bad boy out actually let me see if i can find uh let's see trucks is there i wonder if it would be under there so you guys could see it um let me look for it quick and see where that truck was quick uh, just so you can kind of understand. Oh, there it is, right there. So only holds 5,000 as well. Hmm. And it's super slow. So the wheel loader. Is that the wheel loader we have? No, that is not. That is actually a pretty cheap wheel loader, though. This is the one we have. So, uh, combination. Oh, the bucket only holds 24,000. Ooh, that's sketchy. Might have to look at some other options here for loading it. Because that, that's going to be a few buckets. Oh, to fill it up. So we got to fill this here. Let's go ahead and grab a bucket. Oh, it only fills a thousand at a time. I'm going to be here for a year of filling this thing up. Hmm. We might actually go ahead and I might actually buy a payloader for up here because that is, this is going to be super rough here, guys. I think we're going to actually go with this guy. Uh, he's 45 grand. We have that amount of money just to outright buy it. Um, what wheel type do we like best? We go with the Continentals. This isn't a mod, by the way. This is actually in the game. And let's see. We're, you know what? Let's give this guy a try. Uh, it's cheap. And we can just leave it up here. Uh, we'll name it Old Yeller. Because it's going to be a, definitely a part of our deal. So that's a Volvo. Let's see what we have for some buckets for it. High tip bucket. Does it actually? It does. Maybe we'll go with the fancy bucket, guys. Oh, I don't want to regret this. Let's go pick it up from the shop. Oh my god, that bucket is huge. Will it actually work, though? 
Oh, this tool's not... It said it was compatible. Oh, jeepers. Alright, well... It said it was compatible. Like, when you go in here... Wheel loaders... BM... And compatible... If you go... Combinations... It was definitely there, yeah. So, maybe we don't go that big with it. Maybe... We're going to have to sell the other one, obviously. Alright. We got a bucket for it. It's got some nice lights. Check the interior. Now, we did waste some money. Um, but this bucket actually will work. It was 15 grand. Um, and it has a high tip thing, which is really handy if later we need it for a bigger trailer. It looked oh, hey, weird thing is it does I guess it looks like the hoses don't connect up, but it works. And it looks really good with it, so we'll take it and we'll get it up there. Boy that building looks snazzy. It's a good thing I didn't name this guy Speedy Yellow. Alright, moment of truth, let's try it. Oh. Alright, so <laughs> we we have some issues. There. It wasn't completely useless. We used that thing after all. After a much trial and error, I have found out that while this one looks tougher, both of these Volvos are about the same, but they're not ideal. Um, so I don't think we're going to keep this other one. Um, either both of them, I've tried the bucket on both of them, and they both can only hold, lift up about, uh, 1,700 liters, which, uh, I'm guessing, we'll figure it out, I'm not going to make any permanent decisions till I go ahead and, um, get that factory filled up, but I got a feeling that just, that's not going to really cut it. Um, so we might have to look at other options on the road, but clearly we do not have the money for it. Let's try to get 18. You can see 18. It starts to lift the back on already. And it did it with the other one as well. I thought maybe the, the other one was a little bit... Oh, don't tip. I thought maybe the other one was a little bit more back heavy, but it is. This is both what they can do. And I don't feel like this one is very good. So... Uh, let me get this filled up and we'll go take it down to the metal factory. Wow, our whole operation is just barely getting by. Because I also can't turn the semi now that this is loaded. This is going to be... I get a feeling this is going to be quite the drive, actually, now that I think about it. So, we have to keep in mind not to fill the semi too full. And, uh, we're at to redo our loader thing. Are you going to turn now? All right, you're turning. All right, so far so good. I'll meet you back at the metal place. Who would have thought metal ore is heavy? <laughs> there we go. Get some turning going. All right, we're back here. I'm hoping this isn't going to be the craziest thing in the world to try to turn so we got to go lighter on the load whoa sometimes it turns and sometimes it doesn't all right so i'm thinking oh she does not stop well either we're gonna have to make a little bit while well, that's unloading let's make a little bit of a landscaping deal over here Gravel. Um, like this. Oop. Yeah, we'll make a little bit of a roadway out and around here, I'm thinking, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Let's not act too crazy here, game. Alright, that is not bad. Uh, 
Uh, how much should it fill up? And also, can we start production? Forty-five thousand. So it's almost full. So it doesn't look like it's too crazy. Real quick to end the episode here. I have in fact filled it up. I did advance into January here. Just so you guys can see. I don't like finishing off where you guys don't really get to see what it's doing. But look at that. 1.3 tons by the way. We might need a new forklift to get this up. While our equipment was not good this episode. Uh, we made progress. And I hopefully these will make us some money. Also... Uh, off camera, I did load it like I said, and then I actually did go ahead, and if you can see here, we can actually put iron ore in a silo, so I put it down, I loaded it up, and what we're going to do now is we're going to sell this guy. Uh, it just not, it doesn't work well enough, it took me a long time to actually go ahead and, and, and get that going. So when we do need more ore up there at the hill... We could either use that little piddly thing, or we will buy a better vehicle for it. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time, folks.